Hey everybody, this is Cindy Eiler. How you doing? Nice to see you. So today I want to talk about, um, you know, either speak up for yourself and change things or basically put up with it. You know, nobody knows how we feel inside or what's going on with us if we are not willing to speak up for ourselves and talk about the things that are going on in our heads whether we understand what those things are or not. So, you know, our minds are always going and going and going. And, you know, we're always thinking. And a lot of times I believe that even if we're married or we have a, or, or have a partner or, or not, that a lot of times we just don't tell people what's going on with us. We kind of hold it in and we rehash this stuff in our heads and, for whatever reason, maybe you just feel like they're not going to listen. Maybe you're, you think they're not going to understand. Maybe you think it's going to cause a fight. Maybe whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, we have a million um, reasons of why we just hold this stuff in. But it is so, so important to communicate and talk about things that are, I mean, okay, talk about things that are really good, yeah, but also talk about the things that are weighing on you, even if you don't understand what those things are or why you're feeling that way. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. Like yesterday, I don't know what was going on with me or the energy, and you know me. I'm really good at tapping into energy and just kind of knowing what's happening, but I felt this incredible surge of fear anxiety. Um, I was questioning me, my work, and what I do. Um, and you know, those are things that normally that's not, that would not describe me whatsoever. But I'm, I'm honest. I'm real with you. I was feeling that way yesterday. And I was like, what is up? What is going on with me? Why am I feeling this way? And then I got this email <laughs> and I got so dang irritated over it. I was so irritated over this email because it was some forms that needed to be sent in and it had been this long process and finally we had gotten all these forms in and it was a notification that some of the items were missing or not what was exactly asked for and I was so angry at this person because I was like why do I have to feel like I have to hold their hand every step of the way like you know, if you don't understand something, then ask me. But it, I don't know. The point is, it really wasn't the reason why I was feeling that way. But I got so overly angry and irritated. But I was already having this weird stuff with the fear and anxiety going on. And this just really added to it. And I was sitting at my computer going, what do I do? Okay, what do I do now? Do I go lay down? Do I listen to music, what what do I do with myself in this moment that I'm feeling this, all of these emotions that are not feeling good to me. And it was late, so I could, it was dark, I couldn't go to the beach, I wanted to go to the beach. What could I do, what could I do? And you know, one thing that I always do whenever I'm going, and plus I'm, I've got other stuff on my mind too, that I'm asking for solutions for, some ideas of what to do, I don't know, my Right now I'm feeling a little antsy about just, you know, usually I know what I want and I'm kind of feeling in this weird in-between stage where, you know, I kind of have everything I want, but I feel like I need to do something. And so my first immediate reaction would be, well, let me go on vacation. Maybe I need to go away. <laughs> I, I don't know. But now, you know, now that I live in this amazing place, I don't need to do that. So no, that's not the answer. In fact, that's not the answer not what I need to do. Before that would have been, that would have made sense, but now it doesn't. So I'm like sitting here again. Why, why am I feeling this way? Why am I not happier? Why, 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 why? What do I do with myself? What am I doing with myself? Who am I? Is my work really helping people? You know, all of these things. So um, I didn't know what to do with my, my energy at that moment. And then some mysterious thing happened that my uh, friend started um, sending me some chat messages so I was going back and forth with her on stuff and then some of it started coming out like that whole just 
it start, started coming out just different things and then to the point when we were I was, we were laughing hysterical at something that I was really annoyed by just yet you know two days ago it was really annoying but as I was explaining it to her she's like I can't stop laughing that is so funny like <laughs> she's like You're, it's not gonna happen anyway but it's really funny and so then I'm laughing too because it is so ridiculous it was so funny but it wasn't really funny to me before, so we were laughing and just going back and forth. So I got some sort of a healing just by having this conversation with my friend. So, and we hadn't been chatting for a long time or email or anything, so it was just coincidental that she happened to um, connect with me right at that time last night. So, you know, one thing I know is the universe is always orchestrating everything is always I this universe is amazing okay it's like it's always it always knows it always knows what's next it always has everything going in motion everything always shows up at the perfect time even if things seem bad or not good or you're questioning and you're feeling anxious or fear or whatever it's so perfect everything's so perfect really because it's all in orchestration and the thing is we're just seeing it bit by bit by bit by bit and then you know if you look into the future you get you're gonna get fearful because that's what we do when we look in the future if we look backwards we're gonna think of all the crap that we did that we didn't like and if we think about now and if we don't know what we want now you're just kind of like what 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 you don't know but this universe knows exactly it knows and that's where we have to kind of put that trust of that knowing that this universe knows and everything is exactly perfect and everything is 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 perfect and working out always working out for your highest benefit it is so okay I'm getting a little bit off but I want to go back to this you need to um, tell people what's going on with you if you have a concern, if you have a fear, if you have an anger, if you have an issue with your wife or husband or boyfriend or girlfriend or co-worker or friend, these are all, our, our lives are built on relationships. So if you have an issue with something, you need to face it head on, okay? I had something going in my head for like a month. It kept nudging me and telling me look at this look at this look at this and I kept thinking that's ridiculous because I feel fine about that okay but even though I was feeling really fine about it something kept saying but look at it because it's not right look at it something doesn't feel right look at it and I kept saying you know what I am totally fine with that but for a month this was like needle little needling little needling so I said so what? anyway my camera went weird there for a minute I'm back though um, so anyway, I was like, what is going on? Why do I keep getting this needling, these messages to look at this thing that I am totally fine with? So I finally said, you know what? If I keep hearing something in my head, and this is advice to you too, if you keep hearing repeated messages over and over and over in your head, you've got to listen, okay? So I turned around, even though I thought, you know what? I'm fine with this. Everything's fine. Everything's perfect. I said, what is it? And I faced it head on, okay? And I wanted to know, why am I hearing this? What is wrong? What isn't right? Tell me what this is. So it started this whole thought process with myself with, how do I really feel about this? What, do I have any fears around this? Is there, you know, as I'm thinking about this, what kind of things are coming to my head so I can figure out why the universe is like getting my attention on this. So it did bring up a lot of things that I guess I was just holding in. I was making it okay. It wasn't, you know, there were little things that I could deal with that. I'll work through it. It'll be okay. So I had just internalized it and made it okay. So I could just accept the whole thing was okay and that I could deal with it. Now, maybe this is true. Okay, I'm sure I could deal with this, but you know what? Some of you may not know that I was in a very long-term relationship, 15 years, and I walked out on it last year. And I didn't go through all of that. It was really 
a huge deal, okay? Not just the walking out part, but the leading up to it and going through it and walking out, the whole thing, okay? I'm still healing from it. Um, I didn't go through all that to finally gain, and, and the reason why I left, main reason, is because I loved myself too much to stay, okay? I found this amazing self-love for myself, finally, finally. So I didn't give up that to walk into any other situations that are not completely in alignment with me loving myself, with me putting myself first, with me being happy, with my freedom. My freedom is so important to me. And my joy, okay? So everything that comes to my experience, it either aligns up with me or it doesn't. So for you, you have to get rid of people that are not in alignment with your experience. If you're having an issue with somebody and you care about that person, you need to have the conversation. And you know what? It is okay to express yourself and tell people how you feel. Now, not blaming them about those feelings, but always come from a place like, you know what? When you do this, I feel like this. Or when you say these things, it makes me feel this way. And I always add this because it's really helpful when you're having these conversations to be able to talk and listen and have that person listen and not feel defensive. I always say things like, and I know you wouldn't want me to feel that way, but really that's how I'm feeling. And so that's why I'm talking to you about this because I don't want to feel that way. And I know you don't want me to feel that way. So how can we make this better? You have to find ways to be able to express when you are feeling out of alignment with a person, with a situation, with a feeling. You need to make yourself the most important thing in this world. You have to decide what you want for yourself. So for me, what's really important is happiness, harmony, peace, love, um, freedom. And I'm talking about self-love. I'm not talking about I'm loving everybody. You know what? I love plenty. I really have to love myself and honor myself and do what makes me happy, okay? I need my freedom, I need my happiness, I have to I have to be content with my life. And so that means that I need to make decisions for my life. I don't let life decide for me how things are going to go. So if there's people in my life that are not meeting me where I need to be met, I'm sorry, next. And I'm not being like, next, get out of my way. But I really, really, really want, I want to be happy. And so if I need to have a conversation with someone because I'm not happy, I'm going to do it. And if it can't be fixed or that person isn't willing to, to work on it, then I need to go or you need to go. That's just plain and simple. You have the complete right to speak and express how you feel. Don't ever feel like that you've got to muffle your words back and hold things in and internalize them for fear of what someone else might say or how they might react or how they may disagree, okay? First of all, you owe it to yourself to speak up for yourself and you owe it to that other person to speak up so they know where you're coming from. Don't expect people to be mind readers. That is really not okay. Because you know what, when you expect people, that well, they should know me. No, that's not fair. You need to speak up or people will assume that you're okay. Okay? You need to speak up for yourself and not expect people to know what's going on with you. And not only that, when you leave room for assumptions, you leave a lot of space for things not really being true or correct. So whether you're assuming things or they're assuming things, that's too much fuzzy gray area. And you have to be very clear and open in your communication in order to give yourself a fair chance and give the other person a fair chance. If you're not willing to speak up for yourself, then really 
Hold the victim mode to yourself. Don't go around complaining about your life and how someone's doing something wrong to you or you're miserable with this person because you know what? You got to do something about it. And if you're not willing to stick up for yourself, nobody wants to hear your complaints. You know what? If, if you either speak up for yourself or shut up and sit down and, and live with it. And I hope that you don't do that. I hope that you speak up for yourself because you know what? You're worth it. Your happiness is worth it. And it is okay to express yourself and ask questions and receive answers that you need. Don't ever let anyone tell you that, oh, I don't have to answer that or don't ask me those questions or how dare you ask me those questions. No, if you have a question, you deserve and are entitled to ask that question and receive an answer. So if somebody's not willing to give that to you, then they don't respect you. And you need to make decisions that align with you, your self-love, your self-respect, your happiness. So I wanted to go back to the universe, always knowing and lining everything up. Everything's always being orchestrated. And how I talked about we're only seeing these little bits. But you know how an orchestra has all those instruments? And they each have their own sheet music, so they're all playing their own part, but the conductor is orchestrating it all to this beautiful, wonderful piece. It's the same thing with, with the universe, okay? So we're all a little piece, but it's, it's being all perfectly worked together to unfold so perfectly for us. So, you know, going back to me being so weird yesterday and not happy, I went to bed last night and it was so funny. I got into bed and I just started saying, thank you universe, everything is so exactly perfect. Oh my gosh, I love my life. I love everything. You know what? I love that I felt so fearful and anxious and angry today. Thank you. I know that that was exactly perfect for me today. I loved it. Thank you very much. And I was laughing, but I was honestly being so grateful and thankful. I wasn't even being like sarcastic or anything. I was cracking up because I know that even though those were things that didn't feel good to me, that the or that the universe is orchestrating everything so perfect that I know that that was perfect. I may not know why it's perfect yet, and I may not ever know why it was perfect. But I know that the universe is always putting everything together so perfectly that that was exactly perfect. And for that, I gave great gratitude last night. And I went to sleep with a big smile on my face, with lots of gratitude from my heart, and laughing at myself for getting all caught up in all that weirdness. And when I know that it's all perfect, but the good thing was that I went to sleep remembering that and laughing about it and went to sleep so perfect. So here I am for you today and I hope that you start speaking up for yourself and you start honoring yourself and you decide number one what is it that you want for yourself? You know not things. I'm talking about feelings, self-love, freedom, security. What, 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 what? What do you want for yourself? And then Tell the universe and let the universe orchestrate it for you. But along the way, you need to kind of go, you know what? That flute player keeps being out of tune with my song. Either he needs to practice and get better, or he needs to go play a flute somewhere else. And same with you. Maybe people need to get rid of you out of their life. Maybe you're not singing the song quite right in their life. It works both ways, okay? Sometimes we're not the nicest people. So all I say is honor yourself, know what you want, go for it, tell people how you feel, express yourself, be able to have conversations where you can speak and be heard and you listen to and they're heard. If, you're not, if both of you are talking and nobody's listening, just give up on the conversation because you're out of the vortex and it's never gonna be resolved. The only way anybody can communicate is if they're willing to communicate. So if people aren't, are fighting and not communicating, just walk away from it because it's not going to be resolved. Okay, and that'll tell you right there. 
Do you want to deal with people like that? Or do you want to find people who like to communicate and sing the song together? And that, my friends, I will leave you with. Have a great day and catch, catch you another time. See you later. Oh yeah, subscribe to my videos. Friend me on Facebook. My name's Cindy Eiler and I will catch you later. See ya.